and I am privileged, I am honored to call on, on our leader as a teacher, a parent. He, she is the one who is guiding us with the support of all the staff. I will call on Mrs. Blanca Torres, the principal of our school, to give a welcome address. Teacher Blanca. Let's hear it for Tisha Blanca. Dr. Mark Tumio, professor at Cleveland State University. Richard O'Bratril and other students of Cleveland State University, Reverend Amelio Tripp, Pastor and Local Manager, Mr. Carlos Luna, our Assistant Local Manager, Honorable Marco Pech, our Area Representative, Education Officers, um, members of the Agas Pine Ridge Project Committee, Village Leaders, Church Leaders, Vice Principal, Mr. Osvaldo Castillo, Local Engineer, Parents, Teachers and Students. A pleasant good morning to one and all. Welcome to this memorable event for our school and community. As I was going through my files last night, I opened a letter in my computer dated March 11, 2009, two years ago. This letter was addressed to several organizations in Belize requesting financial assistance for the construction of a new school building and personally delivered to them by members of the Parent Teachers Association. We express the problem of overcrowded classrooms and increasing enrollment of our school. Our PTA became disappointed when no one gave us a positive answer. Shortly after, we were invited by the Village Council to a meeting where they inform us about engineers without borders and their plan to help our community. Mr. Pat Coyle also visited our school and asked about, about our needs. And at this moment, I would like to interject here that this system that we are using this morning, we got it thanks to him. It is the school property. We got it through a grant that he provided us, so today we can boast of a PS system. So this was the opportunity we were waiting for, for which we have prayed a lot. I am sure you have heard a, coming, a common saying, as one door opens, another, as one door closes, another opens. I am pleased to say that Engineers Without Borders opened this door for, for us. The Village Council, following directions from EWB, formed a non-political committee of village leaders. All leaders were invited as well as the school leaders. Since 2009, these leaders have stood and supported the project chosen as a priority in our village. Additional classrooms, which would will also serve as a hurricane shelter for the residents. Today, I publicly acknowledge the great work and hours of dedication these leaders have contributed to make this project a reality. I will call upon them and I would like them to stand up so that everyone sees them, knows them, and these are the great leaders that we have in our community. We have Mr. Javier Solis, who is the present chairman. We have Mr. Arkelaina, the vice chairman of the village. And the, commu the committee is, the members of the community are the chairman or the president, Mr. Julio Magania. Vice President, Mr. Jorge Medina, also the Vice Principal of the school. The Secretary, myself, 
Blanca Torres, principal of the school. <laughs> Treasurer, Mrs. Ra Rosalia Torres. <laughs> Assistant Treasurer, Mrs. Domitila Chan. And Ms. Rosalia represents the Catholic Church, and Ms. Domitila Chan, the um, Movimiento Misionero Mundial Church. Um, counselors, we have Mr. Margarito Sanchez, Catholic Church. <laughs> Mr. Angel Ku, Catholic Church. <laughs> Mr. Emilio Hoyle, Misionero, Movimiento Misionero Mundial Church. Mr. Andres Mejia, Mennonite Church. And Mr. Fernando Blanco, who excused him himself, is also from the Mennonite Church. He's here. <laughs> I'm sorry. And um, Mr. Fausto Tus, um, he was member of the past village council. Our excitement has been cost, constant as information has been back and forth after the first visit of Dr. Tumi and his students back in 2009. This groundbreaking ceremony mar marks the commencement of days of hard work but an eagerness to persevere to the end. Our community will get a unique building thanks to engineers without borders and several local organizations and the government of Belize who in some way or the other contributing to the project. Once more, I express a healthy, a hearty welcome to each and everyone present today to be a part in this historical event in our village. Welcome and may God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Principal of our school. Um, as you heard in brief summary, she mentioned that it's a need, not a want. It's a priority. And uh, I have been teaching here for several years, and I have lived uh, the problems go with overcrowded classes. So once more, we as teachers, parents, our children are, are happy for this great event or this great 